As owner of a milking robot, you know the robots get cleaned several times a day. But why is this necessary? We clean as a preventative measure to maintain optimal machine functioning, but also to maintain optimal milk quality and to keep animals healthy. In this video, we will explain more about why cleaning is so important. Organic residue, like milk, contains fats, sugars and proteins that sticks to walls of liners, hoses and pipes. For our teeth liners and six-fold tubes, this reduces the flexibility and thus the lifetime of these parts. If the residues build up, it can cause or speed up the corrosion process of parts. And in the MQC2, it even affects the reliability of the data. Another type of residue that can be found in milk and robots is inorganic, like lime or iron. This is mostly due to water in the system, which happens, for example, if you just rinse the system after a separation milking. In the milking system, the ideal conditions are present for bacteria growth. Milk provides both the temperature and the nutrients necessary for bacteria. And the residues we just talked about provide ground for them to attach to. We can see residue like this with the naked eye. But bacteria are really small and not normally visible. This does not mean that they do not cause issues before they are visible. Even small amounts can affect the milk quality. So, if we look at this flexible hose, we don't see any issues. However, if we zoom in really far and we look over time, we can visualize what happens between cleanings. We start with a clean hose. Milk goes through the hose, we have intervals where nothing goes through, and slowly but steadily, we see the bacterial film grow. Now, what do we need for a cleaning that removes both types of residue, organic and inorganic, and bacteria? We need water, chemicals, temperature, and time. To effectively remove the bacteria, we need the system to reach a certain temperature. And to effectively remove residue, we need chemicals. Different types of residue need different types of chemicals to effectively remove them. We can't use these chemicals at the same time, and therefore we need multiple types of cleaning per day. Alkaline cleanings work to remove organic dirt, like fats, whereas acid cleanings work to remove inorganic dirt, like lime. However, not all chemicals are compatible with the materials of the robots. Therefore, we always recommend to use Lely cleaning products. Furthermore, due to our unique heat cleaning, a high quality product is necessary to prevent damage to our milking equipment. Also, no chlorine, sulfuric or nitric acids are used in order to avoid corrosion. The Lely advice is to perform three cleanings a day, two alkaline and one acid. But why three cleanings? If we wouldn't do a cleaning, or not frequent enough, or with the right conditions, these bacteria will keep growing more and more rapidly. So, now let's put a cleaning cycle through the hose after eight hours. Look at what happens to the bacterial film. If we would only do two cleanings a day, the hose would look like this, making it harder to remove all the bacterial film and residue during a single cleaning. So, clean three times a day to keep the bacteria away.